Hello and welcome once again. This is part 3 of Selenium WebDriver with C Sharp. In this session, we'll talk about Firefox binary in Firefox Profiler. Okay, so Firefox binary is basically a, a class which is used to locate Firefox exe in case Selenium is not able to locate it. Sometimes I have seen people complain that they are not able to launch the browser or the Firefox using Selenium WebDriver. So what we need to do is in that case, we have to create an instance of Firefox binary class and we have to pass the path of the Firefox where it's located. Okay, so let's see this in action. Uh, what I will do is I will go in and create a new test method here, test method. And uh, I will call this test method as public void Firefox binary, let's say. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to create an object of Firefox binary class. I will call that as binary is equals to new Firefox binary. And here we need to provide the path of the browser. Okay. So now in my system, it's at program files 86 Mozilla Firefox. And then this is the exe. So we'll copy this path. As Firefox dot exe. Okay. And after that, what we need to do is create the same web driver of i web driver object driver is equals to new Firefox driver. And here we have to pass this binary object. Okay, so this binary object, that's it. And then again, hold on. Sorry, we have to pass the profile object as well. Right now we don't have any Firefox profile. So I will pass null. What is Firefox profile? We will see soon. And then I will go and write the same code here. Okay. Now in this case, it will Firefox binary will go ahead and look for this Firefox ex explicitly and will provide it to the web driver interface. This I web driver object, sorry. Okay, now you run this test and it will launch an instance and will navigate to this URL. Okay, now next thing is that we need to understand is the concept of Firefox profiler. Now this first thing is Firefox profiler is only available in case of Mozilla Firefox. It's not available in Chrome and IE. Now what happens is, let's say there are multiple users or the multiple automation testers that are working in a team. They may have a different uh, settings or they may have their own bookmarks then passwords and all that. Now, a Firefox user have preferences to save all this information. Now, the problem with Selenium is Selenium always launches a fresh instance. Now, let's say I'm working uh, using I'm using my profile and I've saved all my password. When I will run the Selenium web driver test, it will not identify the profile. Okay. In order to do that, there is a class uh, in a Selenium web driver where we can use or utilize any existing profiles and we can run our test using those profiles. Okay. So before that, let's understand how to create or set up the profile. In order to do that, go to run and in run, you need to type firefox.exe hyphen p profile manager. Click on OK. You will get this uh, profile manager. Okay. Here you can actually use um, any of the existing profiles 
or you can also go ahead and create a new profile let's say uh, i want to create a new profile here i will call this as selenium tester selenium let's say okay now start firefox now it will start firefox using this profile selenium profile okay what i will do is in the selenium profile i will go and add some bookmark so let's say solution.com spelling is wrong one test is solution.com and i will go and change uh, save this bookmark so bookmark this page say so test solution okay you see here this bookmark is saved okay now what you need to remember is always go ahead and click uh, go to file and click on exit don't close from here this cl close button okay we have to make sure we exit from the profile so exit now if you run this test again you will see it will it is going to basically create a new browser instance okay it will not use that existing selenium profile i will show you really fast okay it launches this i will go to bookmarks and you will see there is nothing coming in okay that means selenium is always using a fresh instance okay so let me exit this okay now we have already made a profile as selenium i want to use the same profile for my selenium test so what i will do is let me go ahead and make a new test i'm sorry i'm copy pasting to save some time sorry and i will call this as firefox profile okay so what we need to do is in order to use the existing profile we have to make use of firefox profile manager class to create a new profile manager object so let's go ahead and create firefox profile manager we will call that as profile is equals to new firefox profiler profile manager and then um, we have to use the object of firefox profile um, let's say prof is equals to this profile dot get profile so what it will do is it will return all the profile now we are interested in only selenium profile right so let's see what was the name i do not remember was it capital or small okay it's capital selenium okay so i will write here sorry selenium selenium and then what we need to do is the same thing i web driver driver is equals to new firefox driver and here we have to pass this time this prof object okay that will use the existing profile and again after that i will go and write these lines of code okay now if you want to close the browser you can always use driver dot close or driver dot quit what is the difference between these two we'll talk later in the series okay now run this test that's i don't want to close it i want to see actually so i will comment this line now run this test it will use the selenium profile okay and in the selenium profile we have actually created a bookmark so let's go and see this bookmark okay it's here that means it has used the selenium profile 
okay so firefox profiler saves all the personal information such as bookmarks password user preferences and uh, profile manager allows to create all these things that we have seen in the com, uh, command for pi, uh, to open this profile manager is firefox.exe hyphen p profile manager in order to use the existing profile we have to create an object of firefox profile manager class and using get profile method we can actually extract all the profile but whatever profile we are interested in we can pass on that profile then instantiate a new browser object using the and pass in uh, pass uh, this profile of firefox profile object it will actually use the existing profile all right thanks for watching uh, this please go ahead and subscribe one test solution in youtube for free videos thank you